gentlemen, it is time for the Mystery Hour, and here is your host, Mystery Jeff Hoda! Yes! How you guys doing? Yes! You guys are watching on a great night because we're making TV happen. not that emphatic, but it's TV. <laughs> hey, uh, we do have a great show for you guys, though, tonight, because I'll be interviewing Darren King from the band Mute Math. If you guys don't know them, you should. They have been nominated for a Grammy, they go world tours, all sorts of things. It's a really big deal. Darren King will be interviewed. Uh -huh. And we also have the music of Randall Shreve and Sideshow. Uh -huh. And boy, you guys, we also have the sweet, sweet music of cone chips. <laughs> All of the studio audience look at a bag of cone chips. And you at home can enjoy this commercial, and you can get cone chips yourself at stores. Here's a commercial for them we made. This place is fancy. No way underdressed. I've never been any place. Of Only one thing to do. Get cone chip fancy. Cone chip fancy. Ooh. Hello, Governor. Hello. Oh, look at me. Hello. Look at me bow tie. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, I'm British. I am oh. horrible, too. Oh, Philip, look at my earrings. Oh, it's right. Oh. <laughs> look, I'm a rhino. Sorry, rhino. <laughs> yeah. If you're near them, put them inside your face. <laughs> they have a silicone pack in there that may or may not have gone into my mouth. <laughs> that was my friend Jeff Jenkins there with me. He's funny. Skinny improv. Um, yeah, it's true. Uh, just so you guys know, it is now time for the world famous Things I've Noticed. <laughs> These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've... Hey, I just thought of this. If you want to put a video on YouTube and send it to us of you dancing to things I've noticed, you can get free tickets to the show. I have not thought that through. <laughs> no purchase necessary. But we'll, we'll probably give you tickets. Is that okay? I don't know. Probably. Sweepstakes. <laughs> I've noticed that if they made a World of Warcraft Wonders of Wildlife edition, it would be wow wow. <laughs> As in, wow, when's that gonna get finished? <laughs> I've noticed that bit o' honey is the beef jerky of the candy aisle. <laughs> I've noticed that I'm pretty sure I'm right that 26.2 and 13.1 stickers on cars represent how many clowns are inside. <laughs> it's the only reasonable explanation. I've noticed that we believe in giving back so much that for each person that watches the Mystery Hour, we will give a late night talk show to a child in Argentina. <laughs> uh, how does this help me? That is not an Argentinian accent. I don't know what it is. I am from Argentina. I should stop. I just want to keep doing it. <laughs> I've noticed that every time I see ginger ale, I think, oh yeah, ginger ale. <laughs> I've noticed that, and finally, I've noticed that militantly anti-gun doesn't sound right. <laughs> That's the things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed here. Yeah. Hey, over here is my sidekick, Dave. <laughs> 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 
He left. You have one job as a sidekick. Kick it by my side. I mean. <laughs> You know Get what's going on. Get, I forgot. Get okay, out of here. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Hey, um, you know, I am married. My wife is married. To, <laughs> we're both married to each other. And one of the things that we hate is when people are looking for love and they can't find it, when they have missed a connection. So we are going to now uh, let people know about some connections maybe they're missing. We are going to dramatically read for you real Springfield Craigslist missed connections. Here we go. I came to the Oryx store today around 3.30 and asked for someone. You said he'd already left? We started and you asked if I was holding his niece. Stone County Jail Roster. Your name is Sarah. I like your mugshot. <laughs> you won't see this because you're locked up, but when you're out, you should reply. It's worth it, trust me. We made eye contact as I finished up the shelf at the self-checkout. We both nodded and I said hi. You are in a red zip hoodie and have longer black hair. You are waiting on your white friend to check out as well. Your friend said something to a guy who was wearing a Superman cape. I can't get over how beautiful you look today as I helped you at the auto parts store with your dad's Dodge. You thought that I worked there, but I didn't. <laughs> Craigslist, missed connection. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't really eat at McDonald's, but I was shopping at Dylan's today, and I thought I would go over to get something to eat. The drive through got pretty crowded, but I was the one in the yellow bug. I thought you were cute right away. I like your glasses. You took my debit card and we chatted about how, how guys kept everything straight with all the cars that go through there. You said that you had pictures of the cars to keep track. Creepy. <laughs> Emoticon, smiley face. We laughed and I, as I pulled away, you told me to have a beautiful day. I got the wrong order, but that's okay. <laughs> Saw you yesterday in what I think was your front yard. You had some friends with you. I was waiting for the bus across the street. You are beautiful. Could not help but notice you're also pregnant. <laughs> Craigslist misconnection. <laughs> Jeff from Quick Meat. We talked, talked in a chat room a few days ago, but you left before I could get your contact info. You are my waitress! <sighs> that wasn't me. <laughs> you are my waitress. I was drinking Mr. Pibb for hours. I saw you outside real estate office today. You were with two other people. You had flowing, beautiful, dirty, short hair. <laughs> We will end it with no Craigslist song at the end. <laughs> no, oh, he's, no, he's, he's uh, thinking about it. Craigslist <laughs> missed connection. That's Craigslist <laughs> missed connections. We will be back with Randall Freeze. Here we are. Everybody. Welcome back to the Mystery Yard. That's what you're watching. If you just woke up from a nap, sorry. <laughs> Whatever show is on before is over and this is what you got. <laughs> hey, we have a great guest tonight. We also have a great guest sponsor. Our 
Our guest sponsor is MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it. <laughs> I decided to say that one derisively. <laughs> I don't know why. Hey, we have a great guest tonight. Uh, he's not going to be here with me, but we pre-recorded an interview with him. And his name is Darren King. He's a drummer, phenomenal drummer for the band Mute Math. We just talked to him recently, and he got back from a worldwide tour. He went uh, to India. They got nominated for a Grammy several years ago. They're a big deal, and he's from the area. It's really neat. So check it out. I'm here with Darren King, drummer for the band Mute Math, also a native to the area. So we're going to talk to him for a little bit and have breakfast at the best breakfast place around, Gailey's yeah, Breakfast Cafe. Much. How long have you been gone from the area? It was, uh, I think it was around five and a half months since the last time I came by. Well, and what like, about when you moved initially? Oh, uh, I left the day after I graduated high school. Really? In June of 2000. Yeah. To go to New Orleans to attempt to join Paul's band, which was not Mute Math yet. It was called Earth Suit, totally separate band. Paul, the lead singer of Mute Math. Yes, thank you. Uh, and I only lasted for a couple months, and they kicked me out. They weren't yeah. even paying me. I was like an intern percussionist. An in hyper. 17 yeah, like, what band and they, they kind of even use that term to sort of create a little bit of distance like we're trying you out and growing increasingly skeptical of your usefulness despite the fact that we're not paying you anything are there any bands that have interns that not, you know yeah, i don't think so. yes but they would be in the crew yeah not you know, like the hey, talent no not in the band <laughs> yeah. and ladies and gentlemen interning on guitar <laughs> not getting paid we're pulling for them not getting college credit, <laughs> just a volunteer. I had been making music on my own, yeah. sort of electronic instrumental music that I had been sending to him via the mail, not emailing yet. No email yet. Burn a CD, send it. You know. So, so they, so it must have been an amicable parting though when you left our seat. No, I was so. Hurt. But you still kept sending them. Yeah, because it was still my it was my dream. It, yeah. it was it was not amicable at the time, and then quickly thereafter, um, yeah. I realized how useless I was at the time. Like a seven field hyper, just guy on percussion, not playing actual drum set. Uh huh. That would have not even given me the internship opportunity. <laughs> I don't think. And I toured with a rap group out of Dallas for one month. Really? Yeah. And then moved to New Orleans to join Paul's band. Okay. But I joined, it was still Earth Suit, but I joined okay. it just as they got dropped from their label and they fell apart. And then I get the second chance. I've been practicing drums. I've been working so hard. Uh -huh. And they've been, we've been on this pretty rough tour. And then I wreck their van and trailer. No. I, it's my second time ever driving. It's in the rain. I try to pass a semi. Second time they were I, driving a van? Or yeah. their van? Okay. Yeah, second, and, and the trailer was packed. It was the largest trailer you could have for a 15 passenger van. Yeah. And it was packed way more than it should have been. It was raining. I should not have tried to pass this you know, 18 wheeler. I clipped the side of the 18 wheeler. It doesn't stop though, it keeps going. We start fish tailing and yeah. all screaming all kinds of prayers, perhaps profanity. But just be, <laughs> I don't remember, but just like. <laughs> And then the trailer separates from the van, rolls, the trailer rolls three times, and then I end up doing a 180 facing the trailer in the median, like in the grass, opposite. I'm just looking at, and we're fine. It's like that. Okay. I can give you a quick drum lesson if you like. Yes, please. This is called a paradiddle. Okay. It's a, it's a rudiment. It's rudimentary to drumming. Can I play with a spoon? Uh, you should use you should use a knife. You do a two spoons, I'll do, I'll do two forks. nuts, two forks. It's and this is to get. This is called. It's called a sticking exercise. Okay. So it has. It's important that you use this approach. You do right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Oh, I do that in dance moves. See it. Yep, that's exactly it. That's a paradiddle. Paradiddle. Now, how, how fast can you do it? Can you do... So, you, you know, you want to start... 
that. So that's with forks, you know. That that's that's the that's fast. I can do that. So wait, wait, which one do you want me to do? I just put fork marks all. Actually, I. He caught it. He caught it. Nailed it. I lost it. I can only do that slow. <laughs> waffle, 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 honey. Waffle, 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 honey. Runny egg. <laughs> Yogurt. <laughs> Nailed it. That's Darren King. Nailed it. There he is. We'll be right back with the music of Randall Shreve and Sideshow. Stay where you are. Welcome back, everybody. I'm just gonna go to it. Here they are, Randall Shreve and Sideshow.
Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. What? What are they doing here? It's so good. Why are they here? That was great. That was really, really great. I don't know why you came. <laughs> That's our show. Just so you guys know, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight go to a great nonprofit called Autism Speaks. These guys blew my mind. We'll be back with more next week. See you guys. Catering for the Mystery Hour provided by Big Whiskies.